Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm exhausted. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so beer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. <laughs> Welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, my little babies. I know I, I've been, you know, busy and such and we just, you know, whatever. Here we are. Happy June. <laughs> if you've never heard of Makeup Bingo, <laughs> baby, you're in for a treat because this is not just a normal makeup release video. This idea was crafted and created by my wonderful friend, Imperfectly M. And what sets this video apart from others is that we just don't merely talk about the products. We call on the products as if we are playing bingo. We have adorable bingo cards and we have lots and lots and lots of adult libations. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. <laughs> because nothing is more fun than trash talking with a couple of drinks in you. Anyway, <laughs> definitely go check out Imperfectly M and tell them I said hi. I don't, what is this? Hi. <laughs> also check out their Twitch as well. I'll link everything down below. Emily has been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch. So if you're interested in Emily playing some games and just doing some shenanigans, definitely go check her out. And of course, if you're ever interested in wanting to play Makeup Bingo, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. Now, without further ado, here are some of the makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. Here's my bingo card. And without further motherfucking ado, bitch, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Cheers. Oh! <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, you know what I'm drinking today? Oh, it's so good. I've been talking about gamer subs the last few episodes or whatever, still love them, but I found a new flavor that is like probably the best version of Kool-Aid you will ever have, which I know sounds kind of weird, but also probably kind of amazing. It's called Emotional Damage. <laughs> And I don't know, maybe I like it because I'm emotionally damaged, but it is so fucking good, the taste of it, and it mixes so well with Tito's vodka. But I mean, it also is fine by itself, but it tastes even better with vodka, just saying. I kind of wish I had a pool, because I would just be sipping this all day next to my pool. Anyway, we have, um, I'm not gonna lie, there are some like bullshit makeup this week. Um, I don't know. <laughs> There's some cool stuff and then there's some stuff that I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing here? I don't know. What can we pull today? Oh, bitch, I already got these. I already got these. And I know I talked about them at one point in a makeup bingo because I was like, ooh, I think, I think it is what I think it is. And it is. So Makeup by Mario came out with these soft pop plumping blush veils and bitch. You're gonna see a video on Monday where I talk a little bit more about these products and I try them on and all that stuff. Where are, where are you baby? Where are you? I swear I have them, they're somewhere. Oh, you little whippersnapper you. So I actually have them in uh, two shades. I have Pinch Me Pink and the other one is somewhere else. <laughs> and then I have Barely, uh, I wanna say barely bruising, barely blushing. These are fantastic. I'm gonna talk about them more in my video on Monday, but like fucking don't run. No, 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 don't walk, run, run. That's what I meant to say. Don't walk, run. These are everything you want them to be. If you are a fan of the bronzer formula, you're gonna fucking love these. These are just like a nice, beautiful kiss of color that is just so fucking amazing and everything that I wanted them to be. These are gonna be summer staples. Mark my motherfucking words. These will be staples, okay? Now they retail for $30. They come in six different shades and I will get them all. I will get them all. I'm totally fine with the price point. I paid full price for them. I'm not on any bullshit PR list. 
this. I would happily pay $30 for these. Fuck, I'd probably pay double. No, I wouldn't do that. I'd probably pay uh, 45. Eh, 40. <laughs> 40 is 38 38 dollars i probably which is not bad eight dollars above market price anyway these are great i look forward to getting the other ones and i cannot wait to just oh god slap them all over my goddamn face but i love them they're good they're just a nice soft formula that melts into the skin to just give you this beautiful natural rouge color bitch i'm obsessed again if you really love that bronzer formula you will love these okay you will fucking love these you'll see the video on monday but uh if you were interested in picking them up just definitely go check them out they are so fucking good okay anyway <laughs> so i guess i'm a bingo card i can call this already bought it because i technically already bought it and as you can see i have it in my hand yay magic so yeah go fucking buy it's it's beautiful i love it okay bye bye <laughs> next Oh, this is fucking hilarious. Okay, so obviously I already bought this too. <laughs> By the time you see this video, it should have arrived at my house. Or so, that is what FedEx is saying. <sighs> but uh, Natasha Denona, our baby Natasha Denona, that usually is a real hit or miss, is releasing the Yucca palette. And um, it's disgusting, but I love it. Like, this is, I mean, it's all kinds of, you know, fucking bowel movements here, but... <laughs> But I'm such a fan. It's such a beautiful, ugly palette. I love those earthy baby diarrhea colors. They are my jam. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I need to try it. Plus it's in the midi size format, which could really be hit or miss. Sometimes it's like 10 out of 10 or like horrible should never be made and should be shot off into the sun. So I'm really curious and hope, hope that this is going to be a really good formula because it would be a fucking shame if it isn't. Uh, expect a review on it when it comes here. I don't know. You'll see it, but expect a review. Now it's so funny because when I purchased this palette, I totally didn't realize that there was also eyeliners attached to this. <laughs> I fucking in hindsight, <laughs> I should have bought them, uh, but I, I just, I didn't even, I didn't even realize it. I was like, palette done, cart, okay, awesome. Expedited shipping, no, that's not an option. Okay, fine. <laughs> So when I saw that they released pencils, I was like, ah, oh, bitch, I could have got some. I have never tried their eyeliner formula, so I was really, really curious to see if it was going to be any good. Um, and so that would be like a to be continued. One day I'll get to try it, but not today, kids, not today. Now this palette retails for $69, which is that? That's a $4 increase, right? Weren't other midi palettes like 65 bucks? I feel like they're gaslighting me. <laughs> Or maybe it's like um, a Berenstein Bears moment or something, right? Their mini pals used to be $65. Why are they $69? Okay, in, in any case, I think it's a slight increase. And the pencils are $24 a piece. I'm kind of glad I didn't pick them up. $24 a piece? Who the fuck do you think you are charging that kind of shit? $24 a piece. Oh, but the colors look good though. <laughs> I would have probably bought all three colors. Well, you know what? Here's the deal. If these come to Ulta, no, ew. Oh no, they are in Ulta. If these come to Ulta, I'd probably pick them up with points because I would feel a little like, ew, $24 for an eyeliner? I don't know. I, it's so funny, yet I'm okay with, the, actually I'm not okay with the $69 palette. It's bullshit because the quality never really matches $69. But here I am playing Russian roulette every fucking time because I just want it to work out for me. There's so many people that are like, oh my God, it's actually done so great. And I'm just like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. <sighs> I just want to be one of the cool kids. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, it's been a long fucking day, okay? <laughs> I'm exhausted. Mentally, I'm broken, okay? I'm broken. All right, I have a lot of emotional damage today, which par for the course for the drink, but it's giving me fucking life right now. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, so um, I bought the palette. <laughs> Expect a review on it. I'm excited. It looks like shit in the best way possible. I love me and earthy tones. Do I have these colors? You bet your sweet ass I do. Uh, but did I buy it anyway? You bet you sweet ass I did because I just, I don't know, I just, I'm a glutton for punishment and I just want to know. Plus that shade, I don't even know, I can't even tell. Mokia? Makia? Makia? Very pretty. It looks so pretty. I can't wait to put that all over the lid. And Camu Camu. You know, it's kind of giving me a little bit of a vibe of, um, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, what's that palette? From Colored Rain. Fuck. If I remember the name of it, I'm gonna put it over here. Um, shit, I can't remember. It was Safari Palette. Was it the Safari Palette? Hold on. A little bit. 
it kind of it kind of looks like um a bigger version of that palette and almost on a similar backdrop which is kind of <laughs> just kind of fucking creepy so it's kind of a little bit of a copycat vibes but i also want to put it on my fucking face i'm gonna be nice i'm gonna say put it on my face but it's definitely it's definitely also copycat for sure yeah wow huh i think i decluttered that palette huh place bets now to see how long i will hold on <laughs> i'll hold on to the yuka palette or will it be in my next decluttering um, we're gonna be nice and say put it on my face because I do want to put all this on my motherfucking face and uh, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Next. The next product is from, oh, our Lord and Savior, ColourPop. Daddy, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in such a long time. They have come out with a new big ass palette. They're a new 30 shade palette. And it's called, I don't know, what is it called? I have it right next to me. Smoking Hot. This is what she looks like. I used it a couple of times. Eh, it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. <sighs> I don't think it's like anything super fucking amazing. Out of their bigger palettes, it's probably one of my least favorites. I, I don't know, some of the shades are just a little bit like, dare I say patchy, but they're patchy. And it wasn't really fun playing with this. I don't I don't recommend this. Um, no, and plus you probably have this. I'm actually kind of surprised. I don't know, like we're reverting back into time and it's like 20, what is it, 2017, 2018 and it's fucking Urban Decay Naked Heat all over again. Like that's what I feel like when I see this. Maybe this is more of a nostalgia piece. I feel like this episode is going to be, everything is going to be like a double bingo square. And then I'm going to have to be a Libra and fight which one is the more appropriate one. But this is kind of giving me like all the nostalgia of like warm tone palettes from like, I think it was 2018, 2017, 2018. Like I said, I want to like this more. And usually I'm a huge fan of the bigger palettes. I would say those are probably some of the better quality ones, but this one just missed the mark for me. I don't know. Just even kind of using some of the mattes, they were just like really difficult, really difficult, really patchy, really muddy looking. A lot of the colors look the same. So like when blending them on the eye, it just kind of turned into like a patchy, muddy mess. Some of the shimmers, they were a little bit lackluster. I don't know. Like there's something with this palette that just did not tick off any boxes for me. And this is one that I would totally fucking declutter. It's a shame because again, I love their bigger palettes. I love daddy. I always appreciate him and not because I have an affiliation with them, but I, I gotta be honest, right? This is, this is just not it kids. This is not it. So I'm, excited to see what else they're going to be coming out with and now I don't know what the fuck it's going to be. I actually kind of can appreciate a little bit and maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just speaking out of pocket here. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like they haven't been releasing that many things. I want somebody to like just prove me wrong in the comments and be like, Teresa! <laughs> They actually really and like really just shut me the fuck up. But like, I'm trying to think like, I feel like there was a couple of episodes of Makeup Bingo. Not that that should be like the benchmark of like how many things that they've released. But like, I feel like there are some episodes where ColourPop wasn't even there. They weren't even there. You know, like they, they kind of slowed down a little bit. I, I don't know, I feel like the releases are not as fucking frequent as they used to be. And maybe, again, maybe I'm just a little bit drunk right now and I'm a little tired and I've been up for like fucking, I can't even tell you, mentally exhausted, emotionally damaged. So maybe I'm just not thinking right, but like, I think they're slowing down. I just started thinking like that would be the mark of the recession. Like that's how we know is when color pops. <laughs> that is depressing to say that. I'm sorry for even saying it. That was depressing. Okay. And that's not even funny. I mean, kind of, but not really. It's not really funny as I continue to laugh. What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay. Point is, I don't like this. <laughs> This is not that great, um, ColourPop. I understand if you want to cut ties with me, I get it. I am a ridiculous human. I get it. Um, but uh, yeah, if you were interested in checking this out, eh, I'd say skip. I don't think you need it. Plus you probably have this palette in a much more compact way. And it won't feel like just the same copy pasta in this whole fucking thing. Such a shame, such a shame, such a shame. I'm actually longing for my Naked Heat palette now. I decluttered that shit. <laughs> But now I long for it. What is wrong with me? All right. Anyway, uh, color pop. We're gonna call it that. And uh, it's always, I'm always very excited to see you, Daddy. Very appreciative. By the way, if you're ever interested in wanting to check out anything from Color Pop, I don't know if my code's active. Sometimes it's active. Sometimes it's not. Uh, I think if you use the code whew, Garbage Five, you can get five bucks off. No, it's not affiliate. I don't think it's. A, no, I don't make any money off the code. Yeah. Anyway, it's for you to save five bucks. If you don't want to use it, I don't give a fuck. All right. <laughs> Next.
Yo, I fucking want this now. I want this now. I want all three. I, I don't give a shit. I don't care. I know we've talked about this many times before, how Dyson usually comes out with some really adorable color for some of their products. And this one has to be by far the best fucking thing I've ever seen. And I'm so mad that it's only available in Japan and I don't know if it's ever gonna come to the US and it'd be a motherfucking shame if it doesn't, but I would consider purchasing all three just to be that bitch and you know, why not, right? Uh, <laughs> why not? I don't have kids, I don't give a fuck. But I love, 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 love these colors. As a child born in 1985, this is just everything. This is everything that I want it to be. This is so perfect. I don't know why, but this, it's just, it's so fucking good. It's so good. I'm so excited to see like this beautiful color block version of these products that are really, really good. Minus the air wrap, because that can literally suck my balls. But the hair dryer, amazing. The best blow dryer that I've ever used in my fucking life. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. And of course you have the hair straightener, which by the way, I am Still so obsessed with. I know last week or whenever I played bingo before or hangover, I can't fucking remember. I talked a little bit about the new Dyson straightener and I was kind of considering it for a hot second because I was like, well, you know, it's like fucking, uh, I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of cool, it's kind of fun, it's kind of shiny. But um, I ultimately decided, no, I'm not gonna give into it purely for the fact that it has a cord. Being able to free yourself of a cord is just so life-changing, it really is. Um, So I don't think I would ever probably pick up another straightener again, but I would pick up this one. Now, do I need this? No, I don't need this. Do I want it? Yes, yeah. so maybe I do need <laughs> Maybe I do, maybe I do. This to come to America, okay? I if it doesn't, and if we get some bullshit like pink color, I'm gonna be pissed off. I'm gonna be so fucking mad. <sighs> Look at that case, bitch. Look at that case. Anyway, the air I was about to say the hair wrap. The air wrap is a garbage product. It broke my hair, and I still to this day don't even really fucking understand how to use it. Granted, my hair is like super soft, so it doesn't even hold a curl, so maybe it's really not the Dyson's fault. No, it is the Dyson's fault. It broke my fucking hair. <laughs> Here I am trying to be like, well, maybe I should just try it again. <laughs> Did you see the color? Duke the colors. I can't. I, I just, I'm not, I, I, no, no. Maybe I'll get it. <laughs> if I do get it though, I will somehow figure out a way to display it behind me. I know I'm a big bitch. We'll figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. I just want this to be always next to me. It's stylistically, it's just beautiful. But I'm a huge fan. I think it's so gorgeous. I love the train case. I love everything about it. And it looks like it's also like a nice, like kind of matte finish, which is really, really cool. I'm, I'm on board. So fucking take my wallet, take my debit cards, take my credit cards, shit, take my 401k. I don't care, bitch. Okay, just fucking give it to me now. So I hope it comes to America. If it doesn't, I guess I'm flying to Japan. Anyway, we're gonna call this same shit new packaging because it's the same shit, but it's a new shiny packaging that is just making me really salivate over here. Next. Okay. I <laughs> I don't know if this is coming to America. Another thing that is overseas. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Um, but this is, <laughs> I got tagged in this quite a few times and I, I was like, you know what? I need to try this. I need to try this. But I don't know if it's ever gonna come here and I, I hope it does. So the brand is called Lily Byrid. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Lily Byrid. Oh, you bitch. It comes with a fucking piece of cheese. Are you kidding me right now? Mood keyboard and cheese mood. What? There oh, I need to get this. I need to get this. Wait, what is it? <laughs> oh, wait, what the fuck is this? Hold on. So I'm going to assume that this is a 10 pan palette, which I mean, <laughs> do you see the pan embossing? That's fucking money right there. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so fucking cute. But then there's also, I don't know if that's a blush. I'm assuming it's a blush, unless it's a powder, but it looks kind of like a peachy, kind of like a light peach kind of a blush that has a big honking piece of cheese on it. And it looks so fucking cute. The swatches are definitely interesting. They're in line with a lot of Asian makeup that I have played with in the past, meaning that it's a very soft wash of color, very soft pigmentation. So I'm not surprised by that, but the shimmers that look fucking nice, albeit they kind of look almost identical, but they look very special sparkly and for that I appreciate it. But I, I I don't know really too much about this collection other than I want it. It's so stupid and weird and it's just, um, I don't know, me. 
you know, stupid and weird. And I love that. Um, it's so funny because I feel like a flip of a coin, I could be either like really excited about something or just really like hating the shit on it. But for something like this, it's just so silly that it's just like, why wouldn't I own that? I'm Teresa. <laughs> Teresa owns ridiculous shit. You know? <laughs> Sense. So I appreciate all those that did tag me in it. <laughs> I really do because I cannot wait to fucking buy this if this comes to America, which I hope it does. Oh, it's a fucking highlighter. Okay, wait a second. So this is a 10 pan palette and then a highlighter. What? Bitch, I thought it was a fucking blush. What kind of a fucking, I, there's no swatch of the highlighter. Hold on, let me see if I can find this. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, you know what my head, I'm rewatching Real Housewives Atlanta. So I have Don't Be Tardy for the party stuck in me. Uh, uh, like I just wanna just do that for the next hour. Hold on, I'm going to Lily Byrd's website. Lily cheeky sassy that's that's adorable i love it hi internet can you work all right in the meantime we'll just drink all right i don't know why the website's like not working and it's really annoying also wait a second mood keyboard i can't tell so on the website i wish there was a translate button fuck okay there's it has a palette but then it also has a piece of cheese and i kind of think that's a sponge and if that's a sponge i'm gonna lose my shit right now okay like i'm like i'm just gonna start screaming because like, I just want it. I want it. I, You know me. I love weird sponges. I don't know what any of this is. Damn it. It just looks so fucking cool. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to put a pin in this. I'm getting lost here. Okay. Long story short, obviously I want to buy this. Uh, <laughs> and I just hope it comes to the U.S. or at least a retailer, maybe like Yes Style or something like that, where I can uh, go motherfucking ham and uh, purchase this bad boy. So to be continued. Um, but uh, I love it. I think it's ridiculous and fun and stupid. The colors look, <sighs> are they cheese-like? No, not really. <laughs> But I don't give a shit because the pan embossing uh, just makes up for it. And that highlighter, like, what the fuck is that about? I, I, I'm so curious now. Anyway, I, I've never actually seen, like, a light peach highlighter like that. I don't know. Like, my, it's, like, blowing my mind right now. We're going to call this a food theme makeup product because obviously mama wants it and mama can't have it right now. So I'm really upset by that. But when it does come available, if it does come available, I will purchase it. <sighs> Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. Next. So the next product is from ugh, ABH. I just don't fuck with ABH. I don't fuck with them. They haven't really been on my radar for a long time. And so I was kind of surprised to see that they were releasing something. And then when I saw it, I was like, really, like, really, really? I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. This is just, um, I find it kind of funny that it's called Cosmos. It feels so plain. And even the shifty, shifty shades, um, you have all this money, right? Like you're a big brand. Like I don't understand how they don't match the quality of say indie palettes, right? To kind of have that beautiful like shifty ethereal glow. These are just so lackluster in my opinion. I don't know. I don't get the Cosmos from this at all. This feels like a standard run of the mill remix of an ABH palette. Maybe I'm thinking Carly Bible a little bit here just with the kind of light pinks and all that bullshit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is just, this is not it. This is not it fam. I'm not into it. Also the combination of everything is just really fucking weird. Like, okay, fine. Whatever, the shimmers, while they are not my cup of tea, right? Because even in the swatches, they don't really look like that super like, ooh, cosmic or anything like that. They paired it with such, um, I don't know, like these are the same mattes that you would find in like the soft matte palette, you know what I mean? <laughs> or even the fucking um, modern renaissance palette, right? So like, what are you doing? What is going on here? Oh my God, they need some creative help, shit, fuck. But yeah, no, this is just really weird. It's just like a very weird batch of like warm tone neutral mattes that are a remix of years past, um, also feeling very fall too, which is strange. And then mixed with all like these like, ooh, fun shimmers. But when you really look at the swatches and you really look at them, it really isn't that much of a difference between some of the shades i don't know this is just like a big fucking no for me this is gross the packaging is okay like i could fuck more with the packaging than i can with the actual inside contents so that says a lot um but yeah they're kind of reverting back into the past and not in a good way so um i'm gonna say she doesn't go here abh hasn't been going here for a very long time and they're still gonna continue to not go here so uh, they can go fuck themselves all right next Oh, bitch. 
I want these. I want these. I don't even care. I don't even give a fuck if they work or not. The pan embossing alone is sending me for days. So our good friends over at Chanel <laughs> is coming out with illuminating face powder. So you have it warm gold, peachy white, and precious coral. So I'm thinking for my sale. Well, actually, okay. So wait a second. How the fuck does this work? It's the same shade, but like three different pan embossings. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I want... Is that a little lion? What is that? Or is that a flower? Is it a lion or a flower? Because if it's a lion, I fucking want, I think it's a lion. Can someone help me? Am I getting too drunk? I don't know what this is. No, it is a lion. There's a little lion emoji. Okay, for a second I was like, is that supposed to be a flower? I don't know. I want the lion, but I also want the classic Chanel logo because I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> <sighs> I do like the Chanel logo. It's fun. The middle one looks like, what the fuck is that? Like some weird uh, book it cloth <laughs> from fucking Pizza Hut. Like I'm just the stars and I, I don't know. Actually, you know why? That was a good program. We did get a lot of personal pan pizzas from reading. Okay, maybe I like that one too, but actually I think I would probably get the lion one and I would never fucking use it. I would be like, this is too pretty to touch. Um, I like Chanel's stuff. Chanel hasn't bothered me, really. Their blushes in particular have always been really, really great. I've never tried a highlighter from them. So this is really exciting, although it's called Illuminating Face Powder. I'm, I'm gonna say that this is a highlighter. This feels like a highlighter, right? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Am I drawing a blank here? I feel like though out of this whole collection, it's gonna be the pan embossing is like the best part and it's probably gonna be pretty basic. Which listen, I love making mistakes. <laughs> I love wasting my money. So I'm kind of down to clown for this one. This is a yes for me. And I can't wait to literally put this all over my goddamn face. So this is supposed to be coming out in July. Expect me to pick up at least one of them. But I think it's really cool though, that if they are one product, but they have three different pan embossings, that's kind of really nice. But also how does that fucking work though? I feel it's really expensive, right? I mean, Chanel could afford it, but I mean like that feels really expensive. Weird, that's so weird actually. I'm excited. <laughs> So when it does get released, expect me to include it in an upcoming video um, sometime in the summer. But mama can't wait to have this. I'm so excited. So for this, I'm gonna call it pretty embossing basic makeup because I feel like the embossing is gonna be the best part. Next. So the next product is from, ooh, Valentino. And I'm actually really excited to try these because these are a liquid lip and blush product. And I really actually love them for the lips, but I also really love them for the cheeks. So I'm kind of really curious about the formula, especially that purple one. Like that would be a sick fucking blush. Like I can't even imagine, like, I don't know where I would, uh, where, where I would even fucking go to wear that. I don't know, maybe to like the Longhorn Steakhouse. I don't know. <laughs> Razzle and dazzle them. Okay, while well, I'm eating my filet, but that looks so much fucking fun. I love that pale pink nude color. Like that is just ugh, my fucking spirit animal right there. But these are the, li I can't even pronounce that word. Liquor, liquoroso? That's a, it sounds gross. <laughs> Why couldn't it be a prettier sounding word? Anyway, so this is a two in one. You can use them on your lips and cheeks and they're a soft blur matte finish and they're gonna come in 12 shades. So, so far we only see four shades and I mean, I'm glad they kind of released these four because I feel like they're really bold and it kind of gives me hope that they're gonna be some really fucking cool colors. I really like Valentino's formula. The things that I have tried with the exception of like the highlighter, the highlighter was a fucking mess, but with the exception of that product, everything has been really good from the brand. So I'm really curious to try this. Plus I really, I do love sometimes two in one products because it's, a, it's nice when it actually does work. <laughs> Usually um, I feel like I have a hard time trying to get the product to, to work both ways. Uh, usually one is more stronger than the other, but these colors are like super unique, like not unique enough in the lip department, but unique enough in the cheek department. So these are interesting. This is something that I would definitely buy for science. And for that, I would think I would definitely get like, I don't know, like maybe one or two shades definitely i actually really like the pink and the purple those are probably the two shades i'd probably pick up the most that orange one looks fucking good though orange blush is amazing especially for the summertime once you kind of get it right <laughs> Because sometimes it could be a little tricky where it just, you look really sunburned and weird. Um, but when you do find the right orange shade for you, it does look really, really pretty. It's a very summery kind of a glow. And that's what I'm kind of getting from this collection. So I'm all about it, bitch. So yeah, I'd buy this for science whenever the fuck it arrives. Next.
So the next product is from Be Perfect Cosmetics. And I have to say, I love this. I think this is so fucking pretty. And I think it's a nice departure from the palettes that are this big. While I appreciate every color under the sun, it gets to be a little bit overwhelming. And if you're a Libra like me, you have a hard time making choices. And it's really difficult staring down the bullet of 70 fucking shadows <laughs> trying to figure out what you want to do with the look. Okay, so kind of seeing this color story in a 15 pan palette, which feels micro, which is not a micro palette by any means, but micro to that brand in my eyes. It's so refreshing to see. I love it. I Listen, I love silvers. I lo I'm a big fan of Tin Man Dick. I I'm a big fan of it. I love a cool tone color story. I feel like there are not a lot of those out there. And all of this just seems like a beautiful palette that I can create a bunch of different looks and I can like dress it up. I could dress it down. This just looks so good. And I really do like Be Perfect's formula. There are only like bit have maybe been like a handful of shadows that maybe were like a little bit like eh, lackluster or kind of patchy or whatever. Um, but it's enough for me to want to keep trying the brand out. And this is something that I definitely want to pick up. And I, I love it. I think it's perfectly priced. It's it's $30. I love the layout of it. I don't think there's really anything that I would change. So this is something I would totally pick up and I'm probably gonna pick it up today. So I'm gonna keep drinking <laughs> and I'll probably pick it up today after this video, if I remember. <laughs> But I like this though. This is really, really nice. It's actually really awesome to see more silver because I feel like for a period, silver really wasn't available. I don't know, like I really couldn't find like a good cool tone palette, let alone a really good silver. And this just looks really, really stunning. So this is an absolute yes. I don't think I can call this anything except, I was about to say get in my belly, but that would really make no sense. Nothing, I can call this nothing. <laughs> Next. Oh, this is so funny. Okay, so <laughs> another kind of like a silver gray palette. It's from LH Cosmetics, which is Linda Halberg's line. Y'all, I feel like this is an unpopular opinion, okay? <sighs> I wanna love this brand, I really do. But everything I've ever tried from this brand has not worked for me. Their eyeliners literally burned a hole in my eyeball, okay? Like I contemplated getting new eyeballs. Like <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is in the formula, but it hurt me so goddamn badly. Their eyeshadow, I didn't think they were all that special. Uh, it's kind of like Nabla a little bit for me where I'm just like, I don't know why so many people love this brand. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, mm -mm. especially when it comes to the eyeshadows. Everything else has been wonderful, but like when it comes to the eyeshadows anyway. The only thing I actually like from this brand is a high highlighting brush that my sweet angel baby Mel Thompson uh, gave to me and I cherish it like no other. That's probably the only thing that I ever really, really liked from this brand. And this is the brush in question. If anybody wanted to know, this is the 306. This is like one of the perfect highlighting brushes ever. Besides the fan brush, this is a great thing to get. That said, um, the color story, it's so, <laughs> it's so funny because it's very similar to kind of the Be Perfect, but I don't know. It's just something about the packaging in this one, when I look at this palette, I get a little bit excited, right? Cause I'm just like, ooh, I love where they're going with the color story. Very, very similarly to the Be Perfect Cosmetics, right? I think that's a very beautiful color story. I think this is really nice. This is like a, a tighter edit of that palette per se. And I really do love the addition of the yellow, but it kind of reminds me back in 2021 where the two colors were gray and yellow. So I feel like this is a little bit, you know, two years too late, but whatever. <laughs> It's totally fine. People do things in their own time, okay? Like I just discovered the Ozarks, okay? Like I, the Ozarks as if like it's a, I'm fucking, oh my God, hold on, let me <laughs> back it up. I meant to say like I discovered the show Ozark, not like I actually discovered the Ozarks. <sighs> Keep drinking, Teresa. Anyway, um, let me do a hard reset here. What I'm trying to say, my bird brain, is that um, people do things in their own time. Even though this feels a little bit older doesn't mean anything fine it doesn't mean anything because people could do whatever the fuck they want to do but when i look at this and then i look at the pencils that also come with the, this collection i just cringe a little bit because i i just remember how fucking awful my experience was <laughs> with the eyeliner pencils and the shadows and how i didn't really feel like they were the most amazing things in the world and it's a shame because i really love the color story i would say between this and the be perfect i'm kind of leaning obviously more towards be perfect because i really like that formula 
left. But I really love this color story. I think it's just a, a beautiful edit. It's just, it's fucking gorgeous. And this is probably something I would try to recreate in my own collection, just because of how much I do not like this brand's quality. It, it sucks. It looks so cool. I love the whole like overall aesthetic. And it's just, it's a fucking shame that nothing has ever really worked for me. And it breaks my heart. You have no idea it breaks my heart. So um, yeah, I love this, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not buy something that will ultimately scar my eyeballs because I don't know what the fuck they put in the products to ultimately make me just get super irritated. <sighs> Next. So the next product is from, ooh, e.l.f. I love e.l.f. They're wonderful. So the, not everything, but you know what? I'm riding high from that American Eagle collection, okay? <laughs> That palette's fucking amazing. Embarrassing, but amazing. But that makeup bag, oh bitch, that jean pocket. If you can find that shit in Macari, do yourself a favor. It's the best. Why did I say it? Whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> these products are called Squeeze Me and they are a glow lip balm. Love it, obsessed. Four dollars each, five scented shades. These look really amazing, but these are the kind of products that I wouldn't go out of my way to order. Like if I saw them in Ulta or Target or shit, CVS or something like that, right? And they just happen to be like on an end cap next to some like Reese's Puffs. <laughs> I'd be like, yes and yes, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's when I would pick them up. I'm very particular when it comes to lip balms and lip oils and stuff like that. Like I still, my tried and true is my Dior lip oil followed by Lunar Beauty. And then the NYX one has been really, really great. But then when it comes to chapstick, I am a sucker for treat beauty. And I love that it looks like a giant glue stick and it just lasts me forever. And I love that product. And it's literally strategically placed all around this fucking house, in my car, everywhere. So, um, these have to be very spectacular. Like, and they seem like they would be because they just seem like everything about them just seems really, really good. And I love that it is the light tinge of color, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm just so particular when it comes to lip products. So it's like, yes, I like this, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy them. Like these are on the end cap or I completely forget about them. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel about them. Like I like them, but like, I don't need to like rush out and get them right now. Watch, <laughs> watch the next video. I'm like, I got all 10 of them. Like, woo. Like, no. Probably that's what's probably gonna fucking happen. Actually, I really do hope that they come to Target because I, oh, I didn't see the swatches. Oh, the swatches are nice, bitch. Okay, you know what? Maybe I need to shut the fuck up. Maybe I just need to go get these because they actually look really good. These look like the kind of colors that I would just throw in my bag and let it live there. So like after dinner when I'm out or something like that, instead of reapplying lipstick, I would just apply this. Okay, maybe I'm just being too harsh. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I just need to pick this up. This and the Be Perfect palette. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I can call this anything um, except uh, I'm a clown. Next. Can I say, I forget about this brand every time. This brand and M -M 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 Mitchell. Those are the two brands that I constantly forget about until they release something and I go, oh yeah. Remember this brand? So, uh, Half Magic Beauty. What happened to them? I feel like there was a lot of maybe it's because it was all tied to Euphoria. Yeah, it was all tied to that show. <laughs> I think there was like a lot of like, ooh, and then when it came out, people were like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, just, I'm not really into this. Like, there's a time and a place to be at a rave. Like, Arr. but anyway, so Half Magic Beauty came out with the Chrome Addiction Shimmer Mattes. There are six new shades, $24 a piece, or you can get the whole bundle for $126. Um, I don't know. It looks okay. They look okay, but honestly, I really love the About Face little matte guys. Those are really fucking fantastic. And those are really just good one and done shadows that layer really, really well. So I'm kind of just like, I already have that. And I think that they're a little bit cheaper. Are they cheaper actually? Hold on. I could be speaking at a turn here. Yeah, ooh, they're like $8 more. Oh, fuck that. Okay, just go get an About Face. They're $16, way better. That's $8 more. I don't know. And none of the colors look like that super amazing. Like that are like super like, ooh, I need to go try these now. I know. Again, I like forget about this brand every fucking time. I feel like this is probably the most lackluster. I should, I should do a video on that. Like brands that are just like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, wow. Mm. 
Uh, I don't think I have seen anybody super excited about this brand, myself included. I think I was like on the fence when it was first coming out because I was like, all right, well, listen, I like looking like I've been in a drug fueled house party. Who doesn't? But then when I saw everything and I, you know, it's so funny. I did purchase some shit. I don't even know where the fuck it is right now, which is bad on my part. I recognize that. Okay. I'm getting help. No, I'm not. Uh <laughs> Sometimes I like to say things because it just sounds nice. Anyway, uh, <laughs> point is, um, what was my point? I don't know what I did with that stuff. Me and Alex were gonna put crystals all over our assholes and now I don't know where it is. I'll find it. It's probably so like gross by now because you know, it's been a while since they released. <laughs> I think the most appropriate thing I could say is yes, give us nothing. There really hasn't been a lot of releases that have really like stopped me in my tracks that were like, yes, I need to try this. This is a no for me, dog. A no for me. So um, yes, give us nothing. I keep hoping that they're gonna release something really cool, but I have not seen anything yet. And then granted, I could also be in the age where it's like, this is not for you, bitch, okay? You old, get in the back of the line. And maybe that's it too, that could be it too. I'm not one of these young bucks up here, okay? But. I don't know. I just, I'm not really excited about anything that they put out and I constantly forget about them. When I'm done talking about this, I will forget that this is even in this episode until I'm editing it. Think about it. Think about it. So give us nothing or keep giving us nothing because that's what you're doing. Next. Oh, it's that time y'all. It's June. It's Pride Month. Slap a fucking rainbow thing on it because we love capitalism. All right, so <laughs> Catrice Cosmetics is coming out with the Who I Am collection, which is currently available in Germany. It might be available in the US, but very hard to know. Catrice has teamed up with the Lesbian and Gay Association, LSVD, representing the interests of lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, intersex, and queer people to make this collection. So you have the Who I Am eyeshadow and face palette for $14.99. I'm sorry, $14.99 euro. The Who I Am double-ended eye pencil. They're $3.49 euro not three dollars three four three three euros yeah i feel so stupid right now i'm like how do i say this okay shut up Teresa. uh who i am colored lip balm 3.99 and then you have the brushes highlighter blender shader brush blush brush blush brush i can't even say that correctly 4.49 to 3.99 like all kind of various prices i don't know <laughs> I kind of like some of this collection. Like I like the brushes. I think the brushes are cute. And I actually really like the, the vibe of the lip balms. I think that's cool. I think when it comes to the palette, it's a little bit lackluster. I mean, granted, it could be like the standard fucking rainbow palette that they keep pushing out and whatever. So I guess it is a little bit different enough that it's not the standard rainbow, but it's not really doing too much for me. I like the eyeliners. I think the eyeliners are really, really cute. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of like a softer, like more pastel, which I'm not really used to and I don't know if I like it or I hate it you know what I mean like I'm kind of in the middle about it I wish I knew more though like if there were going to be uh proceeds or something that's going to be donated it's kind of like ambiguous i mean it just says like we teamed up with this collection but like i don't know what the fuck does that really mean like you teamed up but like i'm assuming that means like there will be some donations to be made i don't know kind of like what is going on here? But when I look at the photos of the two models in this, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> The colors are so fucking muted. It's weird. It's like a very weird take on like a rainbow collection. It feels really muted and not in a good way. So I'm down for the brushes. I think the color block is so cute, fucking adorable. And I love the look of the packaging for the lip balm, but everything else I'm like, mm, I'm, the eyeliners too, the eyeliners are fine, but it's just that palette. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> This feels a little bit weird to me. Um, I know there hasn't been a lot of Pride Collection releases as of yet for makeup. I think it's, uh, although I feel like we should be seeing more and more and more now. I think it was this one and I think there's another one here uh, in, in Makeup Bingo. I think it's like some fucking hair care product where they just like slapped a label on it or whatever. There wasn't really anything like Pride about it other than the fucking label. I want more, but I do give them credit for doing something that's not just typical rainbow palette. However, the colors are mad beautiful. 
I just, I just don't like it. Uh, even on the model's faces, it just looks like someone took a cup of water and fucking like threw it on their face and like any color just like totally drained their face and then they just like sat in the sun and let it dry it out and like this, these are the results. I don't like that. It's just, it's so, yeah, it's so faded. It's weird. It's weird. The packaging looks so much more brighter and the colors look so much more brighter than it does on the faces. So yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Plus Catrice, when it comes to their eyeshadows, they're not that great. I've tried palettes in the past and they really have been lackluster. So I don't really have a lot of faith in it, but I think the other accessories are pretty good. But again, unclear um, if there are proceeds going to anything. So I wish that was a little bit more transparent, but whatever. So for this, I'm going to say we can't escape the holiday makeup. June is pride month. So everything that you will ever see will have a rainbow sticker attached to it. Why? Because capitalism rules us all. Anyway, <laughs> next. So the next product is from Lush. Oh, hello Lush, hello baby. So Lush is coming out with the SpongeBob SquarePants collection and it looks like not everything has been released. Yeah, it looks like uh, Patrick and perhaps SpongeBob is not in the photos. I don't get some of these fucking things. What are they? I don't get them. Like I get Gary, Gary's there. Okay, cool. Okay, wait a second. Includes an exclusive SpongeBob themed box of plastic free products based on characters including Patrick Starr and Gary the Snail. There'll be additional elements for this partnership. This is gonna be coming in July. It would be weird for them not to release a SpongeBob product, right? Kind of weird. Anyway, like Gary looks fine, looks okay. But the other products though, I'm like, okay, Flamingo. Okay, is that a piece of cake? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know too much of SpongeBob lore. So I don't know, maybe some of these things do make sense, but for me, they, they're just not making any sense. And honestly, it's so lackluster compared to the Super Mario release. Now that was a fucking release. So I'm low key kind of confused about this one. I don't know, they just don't look good. And I imagine for, <laughs> the stock photo, right? The company photo of the products. Like they're gonna use the best of the best, but like these look janky as fuck. If I didn't see Gary, I would never think this is uh, associated with SpongeBob. I would be like, oh, okay. There's a flamingo, that's cool. What is this piece of cake doing? <laughs> I don't know. Where's my Krabby Pad? Where's my Plankton? Like, I want stuff like that. I want things more on the nose, not things that are just so, I, I was just gonna say avant-garde. I don't think anybody has ever said SpongeBob and avant-garde in the same <laughs> sentence. The fuck is wrong? It was a rough day, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, wait a second. <laughs> I just happened to look in the comments on the trend mood post and some <laughs> someone wrote, Lush gave me a UTI, but the one shaped like Gary looks cute. Of course it would be one of my people. Uh, <laughs> I just checked. Him bows, you follow me. <laughs> I am fucking dead. Crying face, heart. <laughs> I think this is probably the best part of this whole post. <sighs> of course him bows would be one of my people. I love you, baby. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't think I can call this anything except Lush gave us a UTI. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Okay, I don't think I can call us anything. Except next. Next! I hate this. <laughs> Oh, come on, Makeup Revolution. Okay, so Makeup Revolution is coming out with the Pixar collaboration with Finding Nemo. <sighs> Why? Why? What is this? Oh, I hate this. This is, oh God. This feels like straight up, we already had this in the warehouse. <laughs> let's just slap some fucking art on it and let's sell it for little Nemo. What is it? How is this little Nemo, bro? Like, I don't get it. So, all right, so this collection is available now. Actually, wait, hold on. The sponges look like garbage. Oh yeah, this this was an afterthought. This was a slap it on bullshit afterthought. So in this collection, which there are a lot, you get a liquid blusher Nemo, $10. Story lip oil, 12 bucks. Duo sponge set, $12. Finding Nemo eyeshadow palette, 20, $25. Bitch, that's expensive, especially for your quality. Mm 
Mm -mm. Clear lip gloss, 10 bucks. Liquid blusher, Dory, $10. Wake up bronzer and highlighter palette, 12 bucks. Fish our friends, bronzer and highlighter palette, $12. And a cosmetic bag for 18 bucks. Uh, let's see, that cosmetic bag is a Miss Brand. You know what actually would have been really fucking cool? If they made it look like a fishbowl. If they made it look like a fishbowl, I, or like an aquarium or something like that, I would be like, <laughs> Guess that's what I'm picking up. But they didn't. They kind of just like printed some bullshit thing on it. I don't know. It's like not as cute. I wish it was kind of more see-through. Like maybe one side was like the aquarium. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like one side would be it, but the other side would be like clear. So like you could see your makeup products as if they're the fish. <gasps> Am I a genius? Bitch, I'm a genius. Okay, like that would be great. Um <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I just think that they just slapped the fucking Nemo face on it and was like, people will buy it, right? People, people will buy it. Disney's hot right now. <laughs> Pixar is hot. <sighs> Nothing about this from the, the colors to anything. Ooh, even the bigger eyeshadow palette. How the fuck is that Nemo? There's like a mutant green in here. What is this? The brushes. Oh, it just looks like a kid made this. What the fuck? And not in a good way. But I'm not gonna lie though, if that liquid blush formula is the same one from the Simpsons Makeup Revolution collection. That is fire. Ew, I said that, but I said it. <laughs> I'm committing, okay? It would be straight fire. <laughs> you know, I say it more, it's still disgusting. Um, but yeah. I would be into it, just saying. Hold on, now I'm curious. Now I need to go on the Makeup Revolution website because if this bag is what I think it is, maybe I would pick it up. Hold on. I'm really, really though disappointed with the sponges. Like they could have done so much with the sponges. Like how dare you? How dare you? Oh, actually, wait, is it not available? And then now I can't find shit about it. What the fuck? Yeah, no, I think the bag is printed. Yeah, it looks printed. Yep, I stand corrected. My idea would have been cuter. Yeah, this is a no. Um, This is, this is bullshit. <laughs> bullshit that nobody needs so we're gonna call this uh makeup revolution go away go away come back again some other day but seriously just go away with this one i don't understand like sometimes they're good and i'm like makeup revolution golf clap but this one i'm just like you're fucking worse than ulta <laughs> Ulta is like really scummy when it comes to stuff like this. And now you're kind of on that level of just like you just did not give a shit. You just slapped something on it. No. Okay. Next. Oh, I guess we hit motherfucking bingo. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. There's a lot of weird fucking shit in this one. I really look forward to seeing what other bullshit's gonna be coming upon us. Like, oof, I can't fucking wait. <laughs> garbage. I love it. Anyways, um, now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below. What do you think about these makeup products? Are you excited? Are you like, ew? I don't blame you if you're like, ew, because I feel ew. Um, but yeah, ew. Anyway, definitely go check out Imperfectly M and tell them I said hi. And of course, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up. So you live inside my belly. I don't know why I'm touching myself up here, but I am sorry. Uh, but you can live inside my belly and we could be one and it could be a grand old time. If I can remember, I'll list everything that is on my face. If not, oh well. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.